how to measure a torsion spring. First we'll grab the torsion spring and measure the outer diameter. This particular spring measures 390 thousandths outer diameter. Just to re-verify, we will flip the spring around to the other side and re-measure the outer diameter. The outer diameter measures 390 thousandths. Now we're going to measure the leg lengths on the spring. This particular spring measures 360 thousandths on the leg lengths. Just to re-verify again, actually this particular leg measures 356 thousandths. We're going to measure the second leg. The second leg from the back of the diameter measures 360 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to go and measure it again. Actually, it measures 357, 56 thousandths of an inch on the legs. So that's the correct way to measure leg lengths on the spring. And there we go with the leg lengths. From now we're going to measure the body length of the spring. The body length, very important. We're going to measure this particular spring. Measures uh, 185 thousandths on the body length. 185 thousandths. Now we're going to measure how to count the coils. In the particular spring we want to know that this spring you can only count from the second coil has to make a full 360 degree turn until it makes its the first turn so we start on the second wire size very important always start on the second wire size one two three and one quarter coil once again start on the second coil until it makes a full 360 degree turn start on the second wire one two three and one quarter coil this particular spring has three and one quarter coil now we're going to look down the barrel of the spring as such and we're going to place the back leg the furthest leg away from you at high noon and uh, whatever way the leg faces horizontally is the type of hand the spring is. This particular spring is a left hand spring because the spring faces to the left but again it has to be the furthest leg away from you and placed at high noon and it is a left hand spring in this particular case. Sometimes your spring can have an eighth of a coil or three quarters of a coil and to determine the exact number of coils in your torsion spring we have designed this diagram to help you. First figure out which hand of spring you have. Now we're going to look down the barrel of the spring as such and we're going to place the back leg, the furthest leg, away from you at high noon and uh, whatever way the leg faces horizontally is the type of hand the spring is. This particular spring is a left hand spring because the spring faces to the left but again it has to be the furthest leg away from you and placed at high noon and it is a left hand spring in this particular case. Take your spring in your hand and make sure the last coil, the one furthest away from you, is at high noon, or zero on the diagram. Now start counting at the second wire. Why? Because it's not a complete coil until it rotates 360 degrees. So start counting on the second wire and count towards you. Remember to count all the coils including any quarter, half, or three quarter coils at the end of the spring. For this purpose we've created this diagram so you can determine the exact number of coils in your spring. For example, if my last coil ends at 0 .250, that means I have an extra quarter of a coil. Which means the total number of coils plus a quarter coil. If my spring has 0.500, that means I have an extra half a coil. And if my spring has 0 0.750, that means I have an extra three-quarter coil. If your spring falls anywhere between these other points, see our diagram for further measurements. And this is how you correctly measure a torsion spring.